I came to a student program, uh, uh, I guess 12 years ago now at PERC, and uh, just was enamored with what I was learning about uh, and, and the people at PERC. Um, and I just figured, had to decided I needed to find some way to, to come work at PERC in the future because I was so uh, interested in what they were working on and found it so intriguing and, and so powerful in terms of how to deliver real conservation solutions in the world that are cooperative and that are mutually beneficial both for people and for the environment. I think of PERC as sort of a different shade of green and I think there's a, there's a demand for that and we see that on, the, on a day-to-day -day basis here is, is you know, there is frustration with the, the old models of command and control, political environmentalism, and there's an increased increasing recognition uh, of sort of dysfunction in our political institutions. And I think people are, are interested in an alternative, and that's why they come to PERC. Um, so I think there's a lot of exciting things happening. I think there's a lot of exciting potential to expand on the success we've had over the last 40 years, because those, those realities are are true. There is a lot of frustration with our politics and an increasing recognition that it's just not working. And so why would we leave the environment up to that? It's too important to be left up to, to politicians to get right. So I think that you know, free people acting through markets, embracing property rights, and finding you know, voluntary cooperative solutions uh, that are mutually beneficial is attractive to people. And our job is to continually demonstrate the, the possibilities that are there, whether it's in the context of wildlife, water, or other natural resources, the, the, the possibilities are endless. We have been able to establish ourselves as a, a leading national or even international research institute. And, and that took a lot of work over the first couple of decades to, to establish that, that foundation and to do all the research that was needed to be done to, to, to create the center here. Um, I'm proud of being able to take part in that research but to also find ways to, to apply those ideas to the real world. So what I often think about what I do here is try to bridge the gap between real world, world problems and the, the, the scholarly research that we're doing and that we're supporting here at PERC. And I think over the last 10 years, we've been really successful at that. We've maintained our research core, but we've built on it and expanded on it with our outreach efforts and our, our publications and our policy work and our engagement with, with conservationists. And so I, I, I think of that as sort of my niche within the organization is to try to be a bridge between, uh, you know, the, the, the last 30 or 40 years at PERC since I've been involved and the future. Because um, I think there's, uh, there's a lot that we can still do uh, to, to bring these ideas of free market environmentalism into the mainstream and to apply them to real world issues.